Hey Kelly, so I thought I would make a coffee with my machine and show you this thing working. I'm going to use my new bottomless or naked porter filter. Um, I'm putting it in front of you. You probably can't really see much difference, but I'll attach a photograph that shows it. But you'll notice there's no spout on that. So it does come different when you're pouring it out of the bottom from the machine. Um, hope you like what you see anyway. So to start with, going to put some beans in that we've got, and we'll see how we go. While that's doing that, you probably can't hear me very well, so I'll just wait. <laughs> Uh, so I guess I bumped the camera, so I'm going to start again. Anyway, you'll have seen the machine just grind the coffee. Now I'm going to heat my milk up. It'll heat to 148 and stop by itself. And it will actually froth itself pretty well, so I don't even need to do that. I'm going to use the porter filter, And that's how it comes out of the machine, all tamped and uh, brushed off at the top so it's all smooth. Once I put it in there, I'm just going to drop that straight into a cup. But I'll wait till the temperature on this gets to about 100. Once it's up around there, then I'm just a few seconds off going. So I'll start that up and I'll have that ready to go. I usually give this a quick shake just at the start to get rid of any excess bubbles at the top. And then I just let it do its own thing. <clears throat> So you can see that it's a fairly quick process. And I'm going to get right down under it so you can see the porter filter because it's pretty cool to watch. And it's a really good way of seeing how you're doing as far as your coffee making ability goes. So here we go, hopefully you can see this well enough. So I bumped it again with my fat fingers but I'm about to start. This shot should cover the whole porter filter and come out in one spot. So pretty happy with that. There's my coffee. Still got a good creamer on it. My milk all done. And I'll get those two together fairly quickly and then I'll go ahead and clean it up after that. Just give that a quick tap to get any bubbles off. So fairly high with your drop to start with. So you're breaking the surface. And then as you get to the top, you get closer so that you're not breaking the surface and if you're good at this this is where your coffee art would come in mine looks like a white stick in the middle of a coffee cup <laughs> anyway that's pretty much it i've got to clean up now bye